Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about photoelectric effect in an experiment to find the relationship between frequency of radiation and kinetic energy of photoelectrons in a photoelectric device. The following graph was obtained. So we have the graph of stopping potential against frequency. Then use the graph to answer the following questions. Part A, Roman 1, determine the threshold frequency. Roman 2, find the Planck's constant, H. Roman 3, calculate the work function of the metal in joules. And then part B, the threshold frequency of sodium is 4.8 times 10 power 14 has calculate the work function of sodium take Planck's constant to be this. So for the first part, we are required to determine the threshold frequency. Now, for the threshold frequency, which is denoted by F0, the stopping potential is zero. So we'll come to the graph at the point when the stopping potential is zero, that is on the x-axis. The x-axis represents frequency. So when stopping potential is zero, we come to this point where we have the x-intercept. So at this point, f is 2.5. And remember, we must multiply by 10 power 14. So the threshold frequency is 2.5 times 10 power 14 has. Now moving to part two find the Planck's constant h. Now from instance equation of photoelectric effect, h, f, which is energy of incident radiation, is equal to the work function plus the kinetic energy, which is given as E, v, where E is electron charge and v is the stopping potential. So we have v sub s. Now, when you make V sub S the subject, we are going to have, so we can take W naught to the left-hand side, so that we are going to have E V sub S is equal to HF minus W naught. Remember, W naught is the work function. So dividing all through by E, that is electron charge, we have the stopping potential V sub S is equal to H over E F minus W naught over E. Now I want to relate this to the equation of a straight line in the form Y is equal to M X plus C. Usually M represents the gradient or slope. So Let's assume we were plotting the graph y against x. Then, just like we have in this equation, we can relate it to this instance equation of photoelectric effect. So, y corresponds to vs, that is stopping potential. x corresponds to f frequency. And then this part here, h over e, corresponds to the gradient or slope. Remember in the graph, we are plotting stopping potential against the frequency. So here again, we have stopping potential against frequency. And from our relation, the part we are interested in is this part here, h over e, which represents the gradient or slope. So we are going to say the slope s, let's represent it by letter s, that is the slope of the graph is equal to h over e if we extract it from this equation then because we are looking for Planck's constant h we can make h the subject so this implies that h is equal to e which is electron charge times s so that means h will become electron charge is usually 1.6 times 10 power negative 19 
just as we are given here. And then we have to multiply that by the slope. So the slope will determine from the graph. We can identify two points on the graph from which we'll calculate the gradient or slope. So I wish that we take this point here and this point here so that if you look at it horizontally, we'll have the change in frequency and vertically we'll have the change in stopping potential. So change in V, change in F. And the slope therefore will be obtained as change in V over change in F. And for the change in V, we'll come to this point. We have 1.6 minus 0 0.4 1.6 minus 0 0.4 all over change in f for this point we have 7 and for this point we should have 3.6 so 7 minus 3.6 but remember on the x-axis we should remember to multiply by 10 power 14 so here we have times 10 power 14. Now when you work out this, the Planck's constant is 5.647 times 10 power negative 34 joules second. Part 3. Calculate the work function of the metal in joules. Now for us to calculate the work function, Remember, from this equation we had earlier on, negative W0 over E represents the y-intercept, and W0 is the work function. So we'll come and say that y-intercept is equal to negative W0 over E. But from the graph, we can read the y-intercept that is at this point, oh, remember these ones are negative. So at this point, if you read it well, we'll have negative 0 0.96, negative 0 0.96. And then on the right hand side, we have negative W naught over E, but E as we had seen earlier on is 1.6 times 10 power negative 19. So we have 1.6 times 10 power negative 19. Now the negatives and negative cancel so that when we cross multiply, we'll have work function equal to 0 0.96 times 1.6 times 10 power negative 19. Now when we multiply this, we get 1.536 times 10 power negative 19 joules. And that is the work function. But B, the threshold frequency of sodium is 4.8 times 10 power 14 has. Calculate the work function of sodium. Take Planck's constant to be this. Work function is equal to Planck's constant times the threshold frequency. And in the equation you're given, Planck's constant to be 6.6 .6 times 10 power negative 34 joule second times the frequency, threshold frequency, we are given as 4.8 times 10 power 14 has. So we multiply by 4.8 times 10 power 14. Now when you work out this, you should get 3.168 times 10 power negative 19 joules and with this we mark the end of the solution to this problem thank you for watching see you next time